So, uh, hello, my name is Christoph Van, and I'm going to talk about resolving the almost decade old checker, uh, checker dependency issue with the Clang static analyzer. Uh, so, the static analyzer is a tool we use for finding bugs without actually executing the program through the means of uh, symbolic execution. And at certain program points, uh, the analyzer will ask its modules or checkers to see whether the uh, uh, code is faulty. So, uh, as an introduction, let's talk about how this issue came up. Uh, so as you can see on these slides, these are uh, two invocations of the static analyzer. And uh, we, in both of these, uh, we enabled C++.inner pointer and uh, we configured uh, something. In the first case, we configured uh, the notes as warnings um, configuration to true. And on the second, we configured the specific checker unix.malloc with its uh, optimistic uh, configuration, uh, and we set both of those to true. And um, uh, the problem here is that we messed up the invocation, and we got absolutely no feedback from the analyzer, uh, no errors, it just simply didn't do what we wanted. Um, and by working on this issue to create a nicer common line interface for the analyzer, uh, I unearthed a bug called the checker naming bug, uh, which is, uh, uh, which happens when multiple checker objects receive the same name. And this could result in uh, incorrect uh, bug reports and uh, errors when we are trying to uh, parse the uh, common line options. So as you can see here, this is the same invocation I've showed, uh, showed earlier, but the analyzer will fail to uh, parse this input correctly because uh, instead of searching for unix.malloc uh, optimistic equals true, it will look for this option instead. So in this case, the uh, user invoked the analyzer correctly, yet still we uh, failed uh, to parse it. So um, <clears throat> this is because inner pointer checker and malloc checker are in fact related. They depend on each other. And the uh, inner pointer checker uh, first enables malloc checker. Uh, and in this process, uh, uh, they both receive the same name. Now, since, this, uh, since they, are, they depend on each other, uh, and this issue stems from checker dependencies, in order to solve the uh, checker naming issue, we have to uh, re-implement dependencies as a whole. So, we, initi we initially thought that checker dependencies are few and far in between, but as you can see on this very incomplete graph, uh, the checker dependency structure is very common. A lot of checkers depend on one another, um, so, uh, just to demonstrate uh, how this uh, error happened, uh, we can see the same invocation we, has, uh, we saw earlier. So you can see uh, on the yellow nodes that inner pointer depends on malloc, and malloc in fact depends on uh, another uh, C string modeling uh, checker. And uh, when inner pointer is enabled, it enables malloc checker and the C string modeling checker, and all of these will receive the same name, and that is how this uh, issue came about. Uh, so how do we solve this issue? How do we re-implement checker, uh, checker dependencies? While I stated the inner pointer depends on malloc, this isn't actually correct because inner pointer depends on some sort of dynamic memory allocation uh, that a malloc checker implements. So in order to solve this, we have to um, uh, find a correct representation which actually, uh, by dividing uh, checkers up. So we divided uh, malloc checker into a modeling portion and a reporting uh, portion and uh, we did some uh, more uh, checker split ups to actually have a clear and precise uh, directed tree that rep represents checker dependencies. After we were done with that, uh, we, we now we collected these checker dependencies in a table again file, and instead of making checkers uh, uh, register or enable their dependencies, this is handled at a higher level now, and uh, we make sure that in this higher level that uh, dependencies are enabled in the correct order, and as you can see on the bottom of the slide, that, that is how we uh, declare them in a table again file. So, uh, this led this re-implementation of the checker dependencies led us to fixing the uh, checker naming issue that is now gone and uh, already uh, in trunk uh, committed. And uh, we can now go forth with uh, our uh, original plan of creating a nicer command line interface. We can already uh, list uh, both checker and non-checker configurations. We can verify them. The analyzer will now emit errors instead of uh, doing things uh, that you didn't expect. And yeah, thank you for your attention.